Hey y'all, welcome back. I am out here in the tunnel um, checking on things and really came out to clip some tomatoes up, starting to trellis them up here. Uh, I pruned them yesterday, so they're looking good. Um, also need to water. Uh, we still don't have our irrigation hooked up completely. We're missing one piece, and as soon as that one piece comes in, we'll get it hooked up. But if I'm being honest, I'm completely over hand watering everything, but also came out here to give everything a, a good drink of water. Um, but I'm shooting this video because uh, when I came out here yesterday, I noticed that we are already having issues with aphids. So if you've gardened for any length of time, you probably know what an aphid is and you've probably dealt with them before, um, but I'll show you here in just a minute uh, what they look like because they are most definitely on my pepper plants. They're, they're not real bad right now. Um, not like a huge infestation, but it's definitely something that I want to keep in check um, and kind of keep control of. Generally, I notice them on my tomato plants. So if you'll, if you have an infestation, a lot of times, I mean, you may see them on the tops of leaves, but if you'll turn the underside and look on the underside of the leaf, you'll see a ton of them if you have a, a big infestation of them on the underside of your leaves. Um, there are a ton of different ways you can control them. It's not, I'm, I'm not like in panic mode or anything. Um, there are lots of ways you can control them. As you probably know, we like to do things organically here, so we don't like to use a lot of um, chemicals, pesticides, that sort of thing. So a couple of different methods I've used in the past. Um, one, my number one go-to uh, are beneficial insects, so ladybugs. That, I did that last year, it worked wonderfully. You can also do praying mantises. So those are things that you can order online. Um, I do have a company that I like to order with. Uh, I'll post them below, they're, they're called Nature's Good Guys. Um, I have ordered ladybugs from them in the past. I've ordered beneficial nematodes from them in the past, and it's always been really good quality stuff. And I did actually reach out to them to get, um, to see if I could get a coupon code type situation. Um, and they did give me one. And, and if I'm being completely honest, I don't remember what it is. So I'm going to have to go back and look at my email and remember what the uh, code was. But I want to say the code gets you 10% off, but I'll, I'll for sure link it down below. I don't get any kickbacks from that. So that is not... I'm not pushing that because I'm, I'm getting paid or sponsored or endorsed by them at all. I don't get anything for that. I just really like them and I wanted to be able to offer something for, to you guys um, in case you needed beneficial insects or beneficial nematodes because I really do like that company. Um, anyways, the, the cool thing about ladybugs is that you can order them and you can actually store them in your refrigerator or, or you know whatever cool place you have. Um, and it will kind of send them into like this hibernation type mode and you can just store them. And so that way later on in the season, if you have a problem, all you got to do is grab them out of your refrigerator, let them warm up and then they come back to life. Um, so it's really cool. A lot of times, you know, you have an infestation of something and you need something right away. So you don't really have time um, to order something and then wait for it to ship to you before you know, you, something detrimental has happened to your plants. So that's really cool with the, the ladybugs. I can't speak to the praying mantis because I've never used them. I don't know how they work, but the ladybugs, I do know that you can store them because I have done that. So I don't currently have ladybugs on hand. I've actually ordered them. I'm waiting on them. However, I do kind of want to do something to um, kind of control this aphid situation before it does get out of hand. So that's what I'm going to do today. Something else I've done in the past is used um, just a tea tiny little bit of Dawn liquid dish soap um, in about a gallon of water. I put it in my little sprayer down here. I'll show it to you. Um, something to note about these sprayers. These are real common to put, you know, chemicals and whatnot in. Um, so I highly recommend not grabbing one of these out of your garage if you've been using it for chemicals, but buying something new um, that is specifically for garden use only that way you don't you know wind up spraying chemicals on your plants and you get yourself in a bad situation but about a gallon of water in that thing with just a tiny little bit of dawn dish soap and i'm going to spray these down you have to um coat the the tops and bottoms of the leaves or will kill the aphids um unfortunately it's something that you have to keep reapplying as time goes on and if you have more aphid inf infestations um that's the thing with like chemicals and pesticides and stuff it totally is tempting to want to use those because a lot of times you don't have to keep reapplying over and over and over again um it's you know usually you know one or two applications and that rids your problem so it's really tempting to want to use those for me specifically that that's the the draw with that however 
uh, we're pretty committed to being organic here and um, I've actually I've personally never used any sort of chemical pesticide um, so if you want to be organic just know that you know a lot of these kind of organic methods you do have to keep reapplying over and over again and um, sometimes it can just be a constant battle all season long sometimes not you can you can get in into that really um, nice place where you have good beneficial insects you have a lot of pollinators you have um, you know just that good kind of permaculture going on where you're not dealing with heavy pest pressure but until you can get there you you are it is kind of a constant battle a lot of times if you're going to be organic so just know that um you you got to be kind of determined you got to be kind of hard-headed about it I, i'm kind of hard-headed when it comes to when i've made up my mind i'm going to do it and i'm going to do it that way and i'm not um i'm not going to sway from that unless absolutely necessary so that's what i'm going to do today i'm going to spray these pepper plants down i'm not going to do the tomatoes because i pruned them yesterday and i was going through looking at all of them i didn't see a single aphid on them which was really shocking to me because it's generally my tomatoes that I notice the aphids on. But I'm actually shocked that I noticed some of my pepper plants, honestly. Um, because it's only, gosh, what's today? It's Cinco de Mayo. It's May 5th. Um, so it's really early in the season. I can't believe I'm already dealing with them, but I am. So that's okay. I'm going to spray them down, control this issue, and then I've ordered my ladybugs. And I will have them ready for when my aphids... Um, come back because I do expect them to come back honestly uh, and something to note about the ladybugs is that you want to have aphids around if you're going to release them okay because the ladybugs eat the aphids that's that's what they eat for for breakfast uh, so if you were if I were to release ladybugs in here and I didn't have any aphids or, or any other you know bad bugs for them to eat well they're not going to hang around um, so I, I want to have some sort of kind of pest pressure in here before I release those insects because I want them to hang around. So if you can see that here, I'm trying to shade it a little bit so you can see, but oh, do you see those little green guys in there? Those are aphids. Um, and honestly, I mean, that's not a huge load of them. I mean, I don't like that, but I'm, I'm not just super concerned about it, but it's something you want to stay on top of in my opinion um, and just keep control of before they do get out of hand. Something I have been doing when I did notice them, I, I can't remember if I noticed them yesterday or the day before, but anyways, I literally just came in, crushed them with my fingers and moved on. Um, but you can do that too. But when, you know, when it gets to a point where you're just infested with them, you can't, you know, it's going to be hard to just come in and crush them with your fingers every day. Other methods that I have tried, um, and, and are tried and true and people do have success with them, but I've not personally have su had success with are things like neem oil. Neem oil is organic. You can come in and you can spray it. It's one of those things that you're going to have to keep applying um, as you know as time goes on. Um, but I do know a lot of people have had a lot of luck with neem oil. I have not had luck with that. I don't know why. I don't know if it's my climate. Um, I don't know. But I've not had luck with neem oil. So that may be something to try that's very affordable. Um, another thing that people do a lot of times is just spray the aphids off. Um, they're real easy to spray off or shake off with water. Um, you can do that as well, uh, but but so far for me, the things that have worked best for me are water with a little bit of dish soap um, and beneficial insects. So that's what I'm going to go with today. Okay, so we are ready to go. I literally put in just like a tiny little squirt with to about a gallon of water, um, and we're ready to go. So I'll just spray directly onto where I see the aphids. It should kill them, um, and I shouldn't have an issue until... Uh, I get the ladybugs in and then I'll have them on hand for when I need them. Something to note, um, it is about midday here. I don't like to water midday. I don't like to put any sort of water uh, on my plants midday. Just because it, it, it gives it the potential to, to burn and scorch. I'm going to do it because honestly this is the only time I have today. I, if I look like I just got back from the gym, it's because I just got back from the gym. I taught a class this morning. I have to go back and teach another class. I've got other things going on this evening, so this is about the only time of day I have to do this, and I want to get it done because I'm also going to be gone the next two days at work. Um, so, you know, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do when you can do it. So that's what I'm doing. Um, I certainly, one thing I recommend is I cer certainly would not put any sort of oily substance onto your plants in the middle of the day. And I speak from experience. Uh, one year... I found this really awesome organic 
recipe, if you will, for an organic pesticide. It did have neem oil in it, um, along with a bunch of other stuff. Uh, and I sprayed that stuff on my plants in the middle of the day, all over them. I mean, just soaked them. Um, and if you think about oily substances on anything in the middle of a hot summer day, what's going to happen? It's going to burn. So that's exactly what happened to every single one of my tomato plants. Uh, I lost every single one of my plants that year. It was devastating. So please don't do that. If you are going to use something like neem oil or anything oily, wait till evening time or really evening time. I would wait, I would wait till evening time when the sun's going down, things are cooling down. Um, and then give them a good dousing then. Don't do it in the middle of the day. Don't be me. <laughs> Okay, super quick and simple. Um, literally took me maybe a minute or two to co go through and spray these guys. It was like, it's a bed of 40-ish um, tomato plants. Uh, if you'll notice in that time lapse, I only sprayed the ones that I noticed the aphids on. There's no point in spraying the ones that didn't have any aphids on, in my opinion. Um, so I just sprayed the ones that I noticed the problems on and I'll keep an eye on it. Um, these guys should be dead. Um, soon shouldn't have an issue with them and then like I said I will um, have those ladybugs on hand for when I notice them starting to come back because I do expect them to come back in the meantime I'm gonna go through these tomatoes I had a couple of tomatoes that really just aren't doing well I specifically saved a few for that reason um, so I'm gonna go through pull those ones out that aren't looking good and retransplant some new healthier um, tomato starts hope you all have a good day short video I just wanted to show you what I'm doing um, I will drop that uh, nature's good guys link below with the um, the coupon code if you want to try that out again I'm not getting any kickbacks from that I just really like that company they have good quality products but I'll see you guys next time I hope you have a good day see ya